man, I really like doing these vlogs. I think it's really neat to get to, you know, kind of put out there how I feel about certain topics. So welcome to another video from yours truly. Today's vlog is going to be a little bit different. This one is going to be more or less into personal feelings about bullying and where I stand on the subject. I was working in the heat all week and uh, it's uh, my first time really being out in the heat like this all week. So you, as you can tell, my face is pretty cinched. And my arms are tan, you know. But uh, my name is Avenir, and welcome to the vlog. We'll be talking about my personal feelings on bullying. So, one of the biggest things that I don't, that I think should be, I guess, exaggerated about bullying is going to a teacher is going to help. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you. I'm going to lay it out real quick for you. I'm going to be completely honest with you. That does nothing. All it does is it makes the bully even more mad because you just basically snitched on them and nothing happens. So let me tell you what should be done. No, I don't believe violence is always the answer. However, I do believe that if you bow up like a dog and you bark back, maybe you might even have to bite, not physically bite, but bite like your violence. Like you're gonna have to get violent, bite back. And I promise you, they're gonna run like a little puppy dog with a tail tucked between their legs because they're gonna realize they can't mess with you anymore. It's one of those things that you can't just come out at, at an angle where you're just like, oh, what was me? They're bullying me. Bullying sucks, it does, but it leads to two things. Both are very, very sad in very unfortunate circumstances. The first one that it leads to is a shooter. We already know this. Get that out of your mind. If anybody is struggling, there's help. I promise there is help. I can link that help line. If you're thinking about doing something like that, I promise you it's not, it's not worth it. At whatever age you might be, whatever age you might be at right now, it's not worth it. It's never going to be worth it. The other one is suicide. Suicide is not worth it either. Because other people now have to live that love you. Now they have to live knowing that you couldn't handle the obstacles that were, you were going through. And so you gave up. And they, they're going to beat themselves up for it for feeling like they could have changed something to help you out. So I don't think that suicide is the answer either. Here's your golden opportunity. Let's say you're walking into school. Some kid comes up to you and slaps your book straight at your hands. The first thing you do is shove him as hard as you can into the lockers. If he says, what the F was that for? It's retaliation, meaning I'm scared, I'm going to react with a vocal attitude. Okay, cool. You're not going to swing because you're scared. Now, if he comes at you and he just starts trying to swing at you, you swing back. I'm going to go ahead and tell you now. You're probably going to get hurt. They're probably going to get hurt. No matter how big he is or how small you are or how big she is, even even those cases, how big she is and how small you are, whether you're uh, a boy or a girl, doesn't matter, um, or whatever you identify as, uh, should that be the case, um, you never, you never want to back down. You always want to stand your ground. If you stand your ground, it's going to show this person that you're not someone to mess with and it's going to show this person that you stand up for yourself and that's what you have to do i only had a couple of instances where i was actually normally i was a bystander i saw it happen um and in some cases i would take action if i noticed that the person is starting to retaliate back against the bully 
or the person who's um, doing the bullying or whatever, then I don't step in because they need to get that pride taken care of themselves. They need to stand up for themselves. But if they're getting pushed around by a few dudes, you gotta have to step in. Or if a few dudes are definitely pushing around a, a girl, you, there's that doesn't. Where I'm from, that doesn't happen. And the reason I tell you that is because everybody that I know would gladly jump at at, at the drop of a pin to stop any of that at all from happening. Because we don't we don't believe in that kind of stuff. At least I don't. I don't know about some people, but I don't believe in that kind of stuff. Those of you out there who do this, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, like I said, I'm telling you the complete truth, full blown out. There's no bars being held here, uh, no holds barred, none at all. Okay. If you're having a crappy life at home and you decide to come to school and take it out on someone else, you deserve to get your teeth kicked in. We all have hard lives, and I promise you, there's someone out there who has it worse. I've heard stories about people who have written books about their lives, and I promise you, they're way, they're way worse than anything that we've, we've dealt with. And then even still, there's someone else out there who's got it worse than that person. You just, you can't... You can't look at the negative, you need to look at the positive. And if you can't look at the positive, don't look at the negative. And if you can't look at either, look forward. Because that's where you need to look anyways. We walk forward for a reason, we don't walk backwards. We like to see what's in front of us, we don't care for what goes behind us. So, if you're ever in school and you're being bullied, and the kid is relentless and doesn't, he or she does not stop, like I said, telling you the truth, telling a teacher is not gonna do anything. Because all that's gonna happen is they'll say, go to the principal's office, yada yada, so and so, you're expelled, or not expelled, you're uh, you're gonna go uh, out of school suspension, I think it's, it's still what they call it, OSS. You're gonna get three days of out of school suspension, you're not gonna come back until school ground, until after your three days is up. Okay, no problem. After three days, then what? They're coming back, and they're coming back for you. You're the one that got them kicked out of school for three days straight. They're coming back for you. One of the biggest things that we want to do in this community is build each other. And even if that means giving advice in life, just know the best way to get an understanding of something is if you ask for help from somebody who's dealt with it already. If they've experienced it, they know what to do. I've seen it happen, know what to do. Someone else has seen it happen, they know what to do, so on and so forth. So if you ever have any issues or you're wondering, hey, what should I do? Ask somebody. It never hurts to ask. That's what they always say on a job. There's no such thing as a stupid question. A stupid question is one that's never answered. It becomes stupid because you could have easily avoided any situation if you just asked. Just open up and ask. But if you guys want to, you know, any other idea, comment down below. What, what other ideas of videos should I do? You tell me. I'll take them into consideration and we'll go from there. How about that? And then by the end of the week, like this week, we'll have another uploaded vlog. I'll do more reaction videos too. I like doing that one. Music is the main one that I would do it for though. I, I, don't, I mean, maybe, it, maybe game releases, you know, things that I haven't seen yet. That'd be pretty cool. I haven't seen the Far Cry 6 uh, trailer yet, so I might do a react video to that because I am a pretty big Far Cry fan. Remember that I want to give back to the world it gave to me and keep a lookout for the next upload. You guys have a good one.